show us? Okay. I want to explain it. <coughs> I went overseas and we had to hurry, hurry, hurry because there were so many officers and men getting killed. We were in a hurry up thing. I went on a troop ship out of New York, 5,000 troops on board from an ocean liner, the same ocean liner that my wife and her family, she was just three years old, 1923 they came over, it was the same ship I was going over to Europe to fight. Okay, when we got there we were supposed to go to England, but that was so they needed men and officers so badly, we skipped it. We went right on to Normandy, and on the coast. And we went right into action after about, oh, I don't think we were there a week. They rushed us right up to the front and right into battle. So it was all hush hush. I mean, hop, 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 hip, 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 hip. It's hip, hip, hip. Okay, <coughs> this is an infantry captain. 26th Infantry Regiment. That's the one that's at Nuremberg. I was stationed in uh, Nuremberg for, while well, I was there almost a year, I command of a company in the Big Red One. It, on the, uh, here. That's the oldest division in the United States Army. It was founded by George Washington in oh. 1783. 1783. It's a regular army division. It'll always be there and for whatever purpose. They were sent over to take charge of the war crimes trials for the Americans. Either, you know, military, uh, civilian, uh, people there reporting on the war crimes trial, all that. That's where I had, I had 300 I had 300 men in my company <coughs> at Nuremberg, and I had a hundred German prisoners of war who were mechanics also. They were under a, a, an Austrian lieutenant. Every morning that guy would come into my office, and he'd try, he, he'd, you know, he was from Austria, and he'd try and click his heels. But the poor guy couldn't do it, and I, I pitied him because he stood there in front of my desk, you know, and saluted. And I saluted. And he tried to click his heels, but he couldn't click his heels because he had pelt boots on. <laughs> the bottom part was rubber, <laughs> and the upper part, up to here, about here, is felt. Okay. So, that's the 26. This is, this is the division patch, big red one. You hear a lot about it in Rornberg. Okay, Captain, <coughs> this is the this is the French Forager, but given by the French government, if you're outstanding in war, Croix de Guerre, Cross of War, Cross of War. This is the Belgian Order of Orange, which we also got for the same reason. Uh, this indicates infantry. This is great the captain there was a captain. Here. This is the highest you look when you see people on T V <coughs> you're gonna you're gonna have an inn. You look at these they have seven rows of ribbons down here, you know, they're way up high in general. That's always at the top. That's the combat infantry badge. That shows that you were a line officer, I mean you were combat train, combat experience, main thing. So that's always above everything else. And you won't look on TV. This is the medal I got, the Bronze Star Medal, for capturing, I captured, with two sergeants, we captured a German pillbox and got 38 prisoners, so they gave us, we all got the Bronze Star. This is the good conduct can't contact. This is hard to see right there because this is the ribbon for ETO, European Theater of Operations. You get a battle star for each major battle you were in. You know, a lot of people get killed. 
This is, this is the whole American. This was the victory. This is the occupation medal. And I don't know what else I can explain about it. But so much for that. Then I didn't know about it, but somewhere along the line after the war was over, I had come back here. There was a, uh, an association formed for uh, all those that were in the Halbert 65th Infantry. I'll show you the catalog. And it's strange how many people is, are coming up to light. They don't know about this thing. So uh, what they do, they want you to write in and say where you were in battle and et cetera, et cetera and they publish it and so I'm a life member of that 65th because that's the one I was in well I was in in this big red one too in combating I had worked behind the German lines which is pretty goddamn scary <laughs> we had one side of a block everything went on in the cellar the Germans were here here and here we were here, one side, down in the cellars. There was nothing left of the up there. The Germans had zeroed their artillery in, and they'd wiped out of the 260th Infantry Regiment when I was in battle. And that's the way they, as people write in, they're, they're given this information. Then they publish stuff to show what they have if somebody writes in or calls them. Most people don't even know about it, but it's a very excellent magazine. And what is it called again? The Halbert. It's, it's a battle axe division.